Now in Northeast Kansas City, another breaking news story. A woman was forced to jump from her second story floor window to escape a fire. It happened around 830 this morning at 115 North Bel Air. 41 Action News reporter Stephen Keegan, uh, or rather Charlie Keegan, is live at the scene. And Charlie, you talked with someone who actually saw that woman jump. I sure did, Cynthia. They described some incredible moments saying that that woman had no other option. If we look up here behind me, you can see the window where this fire started on the top floor of this duplex here in northeast Kansas City. Firefighters actually say it wrapped around the backside of the building as well. And the paramedics tell me that a woman did, in fact, jump from that second floor of the building and they took her to the hospital. The exact extent of her injuries unknown to us at this time, although a fire chief did say that she had some smoke and fire related injuries, as well as presumably some injuries from the fall. Another man also went to the hospital for some smoke related injuries. Both of those people are expected to be OK. I did speak with a couple who lived in the other side of this duplex duplex. They told me that they rushed through the building trying to warn everybody about the fire and then came outside and saw that woman jump. She had to. I'm glad I was awake. You know, usually with all those people up there, it's a lot of sound. It was really quiet up there, and I was the only person that was awake. If I would have never went to Larkin, everybody would probably been burnt. Everybody would have probably been dead this morning. And we are, it's unclear exactly how many people were inside this duplex at the time of the fire, but an incredible moment came after firefighters put out the flames. Firefighter came out of the front doors of the duplex holding a dog, looked like maybe some sort of bulldog. That dog wasn't breathing. They hooked the dog up to some uh, oxygen and fed it some oxygen, got it breathe, got her breathing on her own. I put the video up on my, my Twitter page, really kind of a heartfelt moment from this fire. That dog now breathing okay, and the firefighters say that they want to take that dog back to the station and then hand it over to a, a pet rescue organization here in Kansas City, something I'm sure plenty of people will be talking about today. As far as the cause of this fire, that is still under investigation. Reporting live in Kansas City, Missouri, I'm Charlie Keegan for 41 Action News.